In this lecture, we'll take a look at how you can update a record using object-oriented programming or you can say object-oriented PHP. We're going to learn how to create a method that can be useful to any project to update a particular record. So I'm going to show you how you can update a record using a simple method that can use which you can use anywhere in any PHP program. So let's start by creating a class and specify the class name update data. You are free to specify any name to this class. And then I'm going to extend controller class. I have a connection in this controller class. So I'm going to extend my controller class here. And in this class, I'm going to create a new method. So I'm going to start with the public keyword, specify function and specify name to this method, update record. You are free to specify any name to this method. In the parenthesis of this method, I'm going to pass few arguments. So here I'm going to first pass id is equal to null. I'm going to specify null default value to this id variable. This is the required parameter of this method. So I'm going to specify null value to this id. Then I'm going to create a data variable argument and specify null added to it. This is also a required parameter to this update record. I'm going to just create third argument table and I'm going to specify table name where I want to update the record. If you have different name to your database table, you can specify that in this default value. Just out of that, I'm going to just say here if, I'm going to first check if this connection is not equal to null. So I'm going to call a property from my parent class using inheritance. And then in this if statement, I'm going to say if id is not equal to null. So here I'm going to check if this required parameter is not empty and is set data. So it means if I have value in this data variable, I'm going to execute this if statement. Now in this if statement, so I'm going to create a variable, create a string and specify as printer function to it. So I can simply format my string. In this parenthesis, I'm going to create my query string. So here I'm going to start with the update keyword. So I'm going to start with update table. I want to update this table. So I'm going to pass this variable in this curly braces. And then I'm going to set the values to the database column. So I'm going to say here set, specify name. And this is the column name of my table. Then I'm going to pass value to it. So I'm going to call here variable in the single quote and pass a string variable here. Just out of that, I'm going to call ph number column and pass a string to it. I'm going to pass values to these variables when we specify parameter to this printf function. Just out of that, I'm going to say where id is equal to and specify here integer variable. Now, I'm going to pass values to these positions or you can say to these variables. Just out of that, I'm going to here specify comma, then specify data name. So I'm going to call this array and to this array, I have key name. So when we call this method, I'm going to create array with a key name. And using this key, I'm going to pass value to this name column. Just out of that, I'm going to call here data again. And now I'm going to specify value to this ph number column. And just out of that, I'm going to simply call here id. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to first search for the record using this id. Once I search it, I'm going to change the values of that record. I'm going to change the value of name column and the ph number column. Now, just for that, I'm going to execute this statement. So, I'm going to create here a command, execute data query, create a result variable, and I'm going to call a connection, then call a query method, and I'm going to pass this query string as a parameter to this method. So, this will execute this query and return the result in this result variable. Once I have the result, I'm going to just check if I have result in this variable, I'm going to execute this if statement and echo message record updated successfully. That's super easy, right? Now we just need to create an object of this class and call this method. So I'm going to simply create here object of this class and then call this method. And as you know, this method has two required parameters. And I'm going to just specify the ID of the record which I want to update. So I'm going to say here one. I want to update my first record. So I'm going to specify ID one. I have the second required parameter to this update record method. In the array, I'm going to pass values to this name and to this ph number column. Maybe you have different column names in your table. You just need to update these column names. And if you want, you can update these keys as well. So I'm going to create here key name. So this name key value passed to this data. And I'm going to have this value to this name column. Then I'm going to create another key, ph number. So I'm going to have this value to this ph number column. So when I execute this statement, this will just update the record on the table user it's going to update the first ID record and update the name and the ph number columns. Now, I hope you understand how easy it is to update the record in the table. If you like short videos like this, make sure to subscribe and like this video. I will see you in the next one.